In this video, let us look into the construction of histogram when class intervals are given in inclusive form. That is, when the class intervals are non continuous, that is, are not continuous. Because as you can see in a histogram, the most important thing is the continuity. Because the bars, that is, the histograms don't have any space between them, they need to continue from where the last class interval left off. How will you construct a histogram when class intervals are given in inclusive form? That is, the class intervals are non continuous. Let us look into that now. Now, if the given grouped frequency distribution is not continuous, we first convert it into a continuous frequency distribution by using the following procedure. The step one is here. So, here we have the first step compute the difference between the lower limit of the second class interval and the upper limit of the first class interval. Now let the difference be h. The second step is subtract h by 2. Of course the second step is you have to divide h by 2 but that kind of a step is skipped because we've done that in the last video so expecting you to understand that. Subtract h by 2 from the lower limits of each class and add h by 2 to the upper limits of each class. So after converting the given class intervals into the continuous intervals, we draw the histogram with reference to the continuous class intervals. That is, we draw the histogram with reference to the converted or the changed data. So the examples in the forthcoming videos will illustrate this procedure. 